Hey guys, thanks for watching another video with Upfix. I'm Ernest. Before we start this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, we're gonna answer another question from a customer. Enrique asks, the radio in a 2003 Honda Accord that I'm working on has no sound. The LED backlighting is not working. Uh, also, the unit turns on and off intermittently and once the vehicle is turned off or parked, what seems to be the problem? Uh, can I send only the radio CD unit um, or do you need both the radio slash LCD and climate control face unit? Uh, this is a good question because these are commonly known to fail from uh, the Honda Accord radio and climate control. It's all built into one uh, from particularly from 2003 to 2007. And what typically you'll have issues with is you turn the volume, you hear either a static or hiss or the volume knob is not even working at all. Um, the LCD completely goes out, so you can't even see the time or what you know the radio information is. Um, backlighting completely goes out, uh, so when you're turning on the headlights, the dimmer uh, switch, and you're driving at night, none of the buttons are illuminating, um, and also some of the climate control functions might not respond if you're trying to adjust something or the controls and it's not working. Um, we would definitely recommend you to send both units in. Please don't separate it. And the reason being is that the unit behind the actual radio slash climate control is actually controlled by uh, a few circuit boards in the back uh, that's actually attached to the back of the housing of the faceplate. So yes, we can do the repairs on the unit itself on the back, but we would actually need to test all those functions um, to make sure that the LCD is illuminating, the backlights are turning on again, it's responding to all the controls, all the tests that we do on it. Uh, including for the climate control. And the only way we can do that is if you send in the faceplate and the LCD um, and, the, and the box behind it, which is basically enclosing the circuit boards. Uh, so definitely send the whole unit to us. If we only get one or the other, we would have to put uh, on hold until we get both parts in uh, because one is for repairs and the other one is to actually test if we did the repairs correctly. Um, so, you know, we recommend pretty much just taking out of the dashboard and just sending the whole unit to us. It's a little hefty with the big enclosure in the back and the faceplate, so make sure to package it well. Um, once we do the repair on the circuit boards on the back, uh, it should restore functionality to any kind of climate control issues you have, um, any power loss intermittent you know, units uh, just turning on and off. Um, basically, the back lights will be fully illuminating all the buttons. It will be responding to volume and everything working, and most importantly, you can see the LCD itself. Um, as far as the, LC, the CD, uh, the CD is actually mounted to the back of the circuit board in that housing. So we carefully remove that and make sure it's working properly. Uh, but pretty much it's straightforward for us to repair it. Again, we would need both units for this one to do the full repair and to test it. Um, so don't separate them. There's these two huge brackets that hold both the circuit board in the back to the faceplate. You can keep those brackets on there. We'll remove them, make sure that we reinstall everything properly so that once you get it, you, you don't have to separate it. It's all one piece. You just put it back in the vehicle and everything should be working fine. Um, let, me, let us know what you think of this video. Uh, and if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments below. We're on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. And uh, like, subscribe, and let us know what you want to see next time. Take care.